Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. We have this week's schedule of official content, and it's gonna be an amazing week. As always, a huge thank you to all of my patrons and channel members, in particular to my latest three channel members, Dudel Salad, Phil Zinzer, and Stormcat. Thank you guys so much for the support. It is truly appreciated. So this Tuesday, the Law team will be releasing a new episode of the Terra Gazette, with this episode taking a look at the Tavaran Senator, Suj Cozy, and how he could potentially run as Imperator in the future. Sounds like this is a new post rather than a repost from Jump Point, so it should be a good read. This Wednesday, we will be getting the schedule for Invictus launch week with a manufacturer free fly schedule and Invictus FAQ. Really looking forward to this event, checking out all the new ships, what's available to buy and all the different events that are going on around this, but more on Invictus towards the end of the video. This Thursday, we will have a new Inside Star Citizen, which says Jared will have the fleet in tow. Now, not exactly sure what this means, but most likely referring to Invictus and what ships we may see there. Talking of which, one of the latest bug fixes for Alpha 317.1 on the PTU is that they have fixed the Drake Vulture ramp, which practically means the Drake Vulture will be present on Drake's day, available to take a look around, which does make you wonder what other ships might be available to tour. And finally, this Friday brings the usual Subscriber Vault update and weekly RSI newsletter. And this week's Star Citizen Live is with members of the AI content, AI feature and AI tech teams sharing the latest on their ongoing development, which includes topics such as AI usables, NPC behaviors, FPS combat, and as we have heard, AI reinforcements. Now this will be happening on Friday at 3 p.m. UTC time, which is about 4 p.m. BST and that's 8 a.m. Pacific time. So it should be a very interesting episode to hear about how their work is going. As we know, AI is heavily getting worked on right now, like we saw in the most recent Inside Star Citizen, plus all the monthly reports. So also this Friday, Invictus 2952, also known as Fleet Week, which is an inverse celebration of the UEE Armed Forces. Now, during this time, all the manufacturers present many of their available vehicles, Usually more combat focused, but not necessarily. But each day is a different manufacturer and you can attend each one as and when you want to. And all of the current flyable ships that are on display are also usually available to rent for free by clicking on them, by holding the F key and just tapping the mouse button on them. So a great time to try any ship that you might be interested in and a great opportunity to see what ships are actually available in the verse right now. Uh, talking of free, between the 20th and the 31st of May, the Star Citizen Alpha is completely free to play, allowing those of you who maybe are unsure as to whether the current state of the Alpha is something that you want to play, as it isn't for everyone. But all you need to do is create an account via the RSI website. And as I say, if you have a friend who is already in Star Citizen, ask them for their referral code as it'll give you both a little bit of a bump. But by all means, do follow the link in the description and use the referral code in the top left hand corner of this video. And this is all that you need. No money needs to be paid. And when the event kicks off on the 20th, you will be able to jump in and check it out for yourselves. Now, during the event, we will also be able to see the UEE Navy fleet flying around, which is certainly not to be missed, as this not only shows off the Aegis Idris frigate, it also allows players to tour and watch the Aegis Javelin destroyer flying around but also watch as the RSI Bengal fleet carrier moves around the verse as well, which I'm sure is about around a kilometer in length. Maybe it's 990. I can't remember the last time I checked. Uh, a very impressive sight to watch all this. And at the same time, it also allows CIG devs to test the fleet maneuvers of these capital ships ready for Squadron 42. Now, there is also potentially a new dynamic FPS event where players must take on a gang called the Nine Tails to recapture some floating platforms, which are a little way away from Orison Landing Zone, just to help with performance. Now, this could be held back until after Fleet Week, but if it's available right now in the PTU, the public test universe, then it might be a good sign that the event will run during Invictus. Also for Fleet Week, there is talk of new ships, I'm sure many of you have heard. The Drake Mule being one for Drake's Day, hidden in a little container, 
The RSI Scorpius, of course, is making its debut in 317.1. Plus, there is talk of an Anvil capital ship. Whether we see this or not is still up for debate. It, I don't think it's officially been mentioned yet, but I am either way looking forward to finding out. We may also hear more on the run-up to Fleet Week with certain shows, or CIG might decide to keep it completely quiet until the event days. We will find out. From me this week, I will be working on videos like the work that has kicked off and finished in April, plus hopefully starting this new Zero to Hero series. I am itching to get on with it, but with the baby on the way, I have got a lot of stuff to get sorted beforehand, as she could be here any moment. I will also be live over at twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrother, playing Star Citizen at 1pm BST on Thursday and 3pm BST on Friday. You are all more than welcome to come and hang out with us. If you are new to the verse or if you're thinking of getting into it, it's a great place to ask your questions. If I can't answer them, someone in my chat will be able to. Or just simply hang out and talk about the future of Star Citizen or Fleet Week or anything that takes your fancy. So, that is what to expect this week in the world of the verse of Star Citizen. There is a lot going on which I'm personally really excited to get stuck into. Plenty to check out with Invictus, especially excited to meet my Drake Vulture and any other new ship. As well as hopefully taking on the Nine Tails and stealing all of their outfits. But with that said, do let me know what you are most excited for this week. And a big thank you to all of those who have made use of the YouTube Super Chat feature. Very much appreciate that, and to raise a tripwire for the donation. That is very kind of you all, so thank you so much. If you do enjoy my videos, please do consider subscribing. We are 2,000 subscribers away from 50,000. That is insane. Uh, hit that thumbs up if you don't mind it. Just do the channel a big favor and tick that notification bell if you would like to be notified when my videos go live. Again, big thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.